I love the way you say it. By night, it's like you were like a superhero or superheroine, right? By night, I wear my cape and all of that. Yeah. So, <laughs> by day, by day, I keep it PC. By night, I let the F-bombs fly. <laughs> hey, I can vouch for that. I can vouch for that. Melody, there's so many young people or younger people, because, you know, I don't want to feel very old. I don't want to make you feel old. <laughs> a lot of, uh, you know, younger people looking to juggle uh, between work, life, doing some extra things. What would you say to them? How, how do you pull all this off with a full-time job and all of that? How do you do it? You know, what's, what's the secret recipe? There isn't one. Okay. There isn't one. Sometimes I just do shit, Sumer, and I don't think about it. <laughs> um, I, you know, I, I really like to try and see and do and experience a new challenge. Mm -hmm. And I don't ever want to be bored. So for me, you know, fine tuning my work life balance is a struggle probably. Um, and I will say that none of these people that come to my events live with me. So you don't know what it's like behind closed doors if I'm stressed out. Yeah. Um, so it, it's not like the perfect picture and everything. But I have heard that before. I have heard people ask me, how do you do so much? Yeah. And I think some people, uh, our bodies are all made differently. And you have a capacity to take on as much as you are physically capable of. And my capacity happens to hold what it has in it right now. Not everybody needs to work that way. I will say over the last year and a half, I have felt a huge urge to dial back. Sure. So um, I think that's natural after, you know, what we all went through. Um, I find the time to do the things that I want to do. So there isn't anything that I, I don't want to do that, that I'm working on. Um, and when I don't want to do it anymore, you'll know because I'll stop doing it. Wow, very profound. And just to build on that, anyone who is uh, watching this or interested in holding events, what are the top three tips you would want to give someone when they want to hold events? What are the top three things which you have learned are critical to you know, holding successful events? Be kind and respectful, number one. Yeah. You're, when you are the face of, of, some, of an event, don't burn bridges. Be kind and respectful. Be careful with your words because you're Beautiful. dealing with so many people. You never know who you're going to meet, the relationships that you need, the relationships that you don't need. Um, don't take yourself too seriously. That would be number two. I have learned that being myself, and being able to insert myself and my own style into my events has been my greatest success. So I don't try to force anything. Um, and if I had a third, I would say alcohol. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't really attend uh, a morning event. I'm not really a coffee and fruit and muffin kind of networker. Um, I prefer a glass of wine and, and a really well lit room. <laughs> um, maybe that one's a little silly and that's just per a personal preference. Um, but yeah, I think for events, you know, it, it can run the gamut and really, you know, know your crowd, know who you're catering to. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I agree with you on the alcohol part. It actually sometimes helps being kind to someone you don't want to be kind with. So, you know, so maybe that's, that's the takeaway yeah. from this. <laughs> maybe the morning BNIs can start having like uh, Baileys and Kahlua at the coffee bar. Maybe that'll, mm. we can get that trend going. If that happens, I'm joining all the BNIs. <laughs> <laughs>